then you've either searched for colposcopies or you've clicked on the link. If your smear test comes back abnormal, please don't panic. All that's happened is your smear test result has shown that there is slight changes to your cervical cells and it just needs a little bit of further investigation. You will go in and meet your doctor at the hospital who will conduct something very similar to a smear test. They'll have a look inside. They usually use a magnifying camera, which sometimes, this might be a good thing or a bad thing depending if you're squeamish or not, but sometimes it'll be on a screen that you can see. It's very surreal, but they will show you a magnified view of your cervix so they can have a good look at these cells and see whether they think it needs a biopsy. They'll sometimes put a little bit of iodine or another kind of solution on there in order to show the cells up. And this sometimes stings a little bit, but no more than a kind of period cramp kind of pain. If they're happy, they don't think it looks too bad, then they will just do another smear test, so they'll take a quick swab and you're done. They'll send you the results and they'll want to see you again, usually in about eight months, six to eight months for the same sort of thing. If they think that the cell changes look a little bit dodgy, then they'll do a biopsy to check the cells properly. So they just get a little instrument, they'll pop it inside, get it ready, they'll ask you to cough, and as you cough, they'll just cut a tiny little bit out, just take a little nip of skin. Again, this isn't really painful, it sounds worse than it is, it's a quick, jab, it's a, like a, a quick pain, like a period pain, and it's over very, very quickly, there's not really any bleeding or anything, um, maybe the odd little bit of spotting afterwards, but it's nothing to be frightened about. Again, they'll take a smear and they'll send you home. I've been having colposcopies for the last three years, and it's never been worse than a period pain. If the biopsy comes back and they have decided it's at a stage where they're not happy to just leave it, then they will want to do treatment. Now, this again is nothing to worry about. It's something actually to be happy about, that they're going to get rid of those abnormal cells and they're gonna be gone, eradicated for good. What I had was Let's treatment. It was a hot loop treatment. So they took a hot wire loop and they basically just burn away a layer, a layer of skin from the cervix. Again, it sounds horrific, it sounds really painful, but it isn't. Um, I think I worked myself in, up into a real state of panic and worry before I went in, and I really wish I'd had a video like this or someone to tell me not to worry, because I think I got myself a little bit too worked up. I was ready for tears, I was ready for pain. And I went in there and they put these pads on me, I guess to stop me from getting electrocuted, I don't know, but they put these, they stuck these pads to my legs. They had this um, machine that was making a lot of noise, I think it was like a suction machine. They had the little wire hoop that was heated up, they said, are you ready, here we're gonna go. A little bit of a stingy pain. Initially there was a little sharp, sharp pain, but it was so fast, like it was just like that. And not like that obviously, <laughs> but it was just a quick pain. And it shocked me initially, but then I didn't feel anything because they numb you up, they numb you up from the inside. And it was over literally in two minutes, it was done. It was so quick. I didn't feel any pain afterwards, apart from just a general ache like you would get during a period. So none of this, your smear test, your biopsy, your bleds treatment, none of it is severe pain, none of it is anything to be frightened about. It's uncomfortable, yes. There are occasions where it's a little bit painful, but it's never, it's never long. It's always a very quick moment. After I had my treatment, you can't have sex for a couple of months, you have to refrain from that. And when you do have sex again, you have to use a condom to stop your new cells from getting infected. There is bleeding for a little while afterwards. But mine was absolutely fine. I didn't have any problems afterwards. I looked after myself. I followed the instructions from the doctor and everything works out okay. I just went back for my checkup after my treatment and they say that everything looks healthy and normal again. So my three years of hospital visits have been well worth it and I would defy anyone who tells me they're not going to go for their smears because they're embarrassed, because they don't like it. 
this is your life, this is your health. Ladies, we have to look after ourselves. If you do have any questions, then please feel free to email me, Anna underscore Tyree at yahoo.com. I'd be more than happy to have a chat with you. If you have any other experiences or anything you'd like to share, then please pop it in the comments box below. Like and share this video. It's important that all ladies understand how important it is that we look after ourselves. Stay healthy.